This should not be a surprise to you for just the experience you've had so far in this class, and that is how C++ handles I.O. using streams. When we're doing our I stream, we're getting characters from some type of input source that's then being thrown into a buffer. So again, some input source could be a file, keyboard, something of that nature. It's being put into a buffer. The I stream is then going to turn those characters into the various types. And I notice, by the way, I did say characters. Everything's treated actually in C++ and many languages too, as first as a string or a buffer of strings or characters. And then it says, okay, that one's, I'm expecting a character. Yeah, it's a character. I'm expecting a float and it kind of, I stream takes care of that conversion from the text into the actual values of the various types that we have in C++. And then O stream is just the opposite. Converts all of those different types from the, and if you use an O stream, puts it back into the butter buffer and then sends it out to our destination source that we want to save all of that data. Now again, your stream states again, this is all controlled by stream states and, and I'll go in great detail here in a moment, but think of it basically as a traffic cop saying, hey, everything's okay so far. Oh, you better stop, something's wrong. That's what we'll discuss when we get into stream states. But again, this should not be a surprise, especially with your C-ins and C-outs and what you've had to do with that before. So no surprise on this, on this page.